This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, good afternoon and uh, th this is an announcement for the new AWS English batch which is going to start from November 4th uh, evening 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. one and a half hour every day and all this meeting information everything is in the description of this video guys so you can go to the video description of this video copy this meeting link and you can join from the fourth evening okay now <clears throat> So it is going to start from uh, 4th November and uh, expectation is it will be like a two more uh, two months and uh, the classes will be only on weekdays if it is necessary it might be on Saturday but most probably it will be from Monday to Friday 8 30 p.m. to 10 p.m. guys 8 30 p.m. to 10 p.m. and it is in English so the prerequisites for this one will be you should be familiar with Linux or Windows at least one of the uh, one of one of the technology operating system so I prefer Linux but if you also know Windows that is also fine and the fee for this course will be six thousand or two into six thousand which is twelve thousand guys so the total fee for this one will be twelve thousand and you can pay in a two into six thousand and you can reach me on this email and you can whatsapp me on this email let's go and check it out the course curriculum so i'm going to have like uh, this is a course curriculum and i'm going to open this and uh, this course is aimed for uh, for the totally like it will go up to like uh, 45 days but uh, i can say like it is almost 70 65 to 70 hours guys you can take up solution architect associate you can take up system operations and you can also take up like a developer course basically and if you're very familiar with uh, <coughs> familiar with already with aws then you can also try for a professional certification as well okay so expectation is 70 hours so if you see this is the syllabus guys the whole syllabus is actually divided into almost like uh, uh, 24 modules you can see so we're going to talk about all the core services in here so we're going to start with what is the basics of ias pass cloud computing we're going to talk about like uh, why aws is required we're going to talk about like uh, uh, aws regions and availability zones vpc stuff as well as like uh, uh, vpns we're going to talk about nat gateway security groups and we're also going to talk about like endpoints and uh, security groups and nacls and also like uh, vpn uh, i'm going to show you how you connect your aws vpn with uh, azure and we also have the peering and transit gateways and we and we go for ec2 where we're going to discuss about like all, all the items about the ec2 guys including load balancers ebs storage snapshots and the lifecycle manager and then uh, we're going to talk about like, uh, like ami creations as well as the uh, using packer and systems manager so uh, we're going to talk about system manager and uh, a few things i can say like uh, we also going to talk about like uh, uh, aws uh, S sms parameter store okay we're going to talk about this one which is a parameter store and also we're going to talk about like uh, 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 accessing accessing sessions manager using endpoints guys vpc endpoints as well we're going to discuss about that one as well okay and later we're going to talk about the s3 buckets and uh, we're going to discuss about like elastic file systems as well as like aws glacier fsx and uh, aws backup and um, and uh and we go to the RDS databases and we discuss about like MS SQL, DynamoDB, Elasticash and Redshift as well. And let's go to the monitoring systems about the CloudWatch uh, as well as like logging, as well as IAM, the certificate managers, CloudFront, as well as like a, a, a third party SSL termination. And here we're going to talk about the container services, even the Docker, ECR, ECS, deploy, deploying the containers, task services. And even one thing uh, I forgot to mention here is, okay, deploy, deploy applications using Fargate. So Fargate is something like a container as a service which can be used actually. So it should be there okay now after that we're going to even talk about the migration guys so we're going to use the sms migration to migrate uh, migrate your virtual machine live live machine in your vmware environment to aws we are going to talk about like migrating the uh, database migration service uh, migrating your mysql to R rds as well as we also use like uh, <clears throat> migrate data using data sync actually which is the one uh, <clears throat> which which we can perform even the data migration using the data so which we're going to discuss by the way 
after that we also have the developer tools so uh, you understand like code commit code deploy code build and everything we're going to do this we will understand the si cacd process and uh, we also give you and here uh, automation configuration tools here i need to mention about like actually uh, <clears throat> deploying or understanding standing infra as a code or simply iac okay okay so and what we need to do is we also need to have here um, deploy now or i can say like um, we should come in the front but what i'm going to do is i'm going to mention something like um, deploy infra structure using cloud formation comma stack sets stack sets and we're also going to talk about uh, cloud formation macros and uh, nested stacks okay i don't know why this having okay let me so yeah this one Okay, good. So after that one, we're going to talk about like Puppet and Ansible, just overview about like how the how uh, how how the configuration management will be there. And here we're going to talk about Terraform and Packer. But again, Terraform is not full fledged, guys. I need to give understanding how the how Terraform and the differences between the cloud formation. And on 23, we're going to talk about the data analytics. And 23 here, uh, we're going to talk about Lambda as well as using Boto3 and AWS CLI. Finally, uh, we're going to discuss about uh, the module 24 finally understanding the day-to-day -day activities what is the best practices you need to follow and we're going to discuss about the project explanation guys totally it will be a 24 module uh, expectation is two months or it, it can go to two months and one week basically so uh, this is what we're going to start again again guys we're going to start on november 4th uh, morning sorry evening 8 30 to 10 p.m to 8 30 p.m to 10 p.m and it will be a two months course and starting at 4th of november and it's in english guys uh, starting from monday to friday and you don't have any classes on the weekend unless it is necessary and uh, you can actually send me the email on here as well as you can actually whatsapp me okay thanks for watching and uh, let's meet up on the training guys thank you bye bye